the most fascinating characters that came to visit Caramore over the, the centuries was a man called Charles Elcock from, from Belfast. He was here in the 1880s uh, and his quest was mythology. Uh, he wasn't entirely interested in the archaeology of the site. But uh, uh, Elcock had a, an ongoing uh, dispute with a, a character called Sir William Wilde uh, and it, it featured over mythology and, and the act the, the dispute between the two of them was over the actual location of the first Battle of Moitra, uh, which uh, Elcock claimed uh, was here, that this is where this was the site of it. Uh, Wilde uh, claimed that it was over in Kong in County Mayo. Now, Elcock came here and he did something quite special, something that other visitors and other academics and learned men hadn't done in the past. Uh, Elcock actually spoke to the local people here. He interrogated them about the, the site here, and in particular this structure here. And that was quite important to archaeologists of today because uh, in th this particular structure is a reconstructed structure. It, it was reconstructed about 20 years ago. But before that time, uh, in the 1990s, this site here looked quite different. Uh, at that time, there was only a partial cairn remaining and you couldn't see the entire burial chamber, you could only just see the, the uh, upper uh, roof slab. Um, Elcock was quite fascinated by this particular tomb here, uh, and he asked the local pe pe people about it and, and the history of it, the most recent history of it. Now, in the 1880s, it was still fresh in the memories of the people who lived here as to what had happened in the previous centuries, and the local people told Elcock that at one time there was a large cairden here, but that people came here and took stone away from the tomb to build roads. Now we estimate that that must have happened sometime in the late 17th century or the early 18th century. So stone was taken away and maybe used for construction of the nearby road, the uh, Caramore to Balasadere road, which runs to the east of us here. Over a period of time, the Cairn gradually reduced in size and then one day, according to Elcock, the workmen discover the burial chamber and they find human bone and that brings the whole destruction of the tomb to, to an end. Uh, the local people will have nothing further to do with it. So, Elcock's written account of this is, is absolutely in, invaluable to us because it, it tells us and gives us circumstantial evidence that there was actually a Cairden here on this site uh, in previous times. A Cairden possibly here for almost 5,000 years and, and which was partially destroyed in, in, in early modern times.